and in my wrestling and in my Today I'm going to talk about the estimation of flotation of the boats we have built. Let's take a look at the terms I use here. The draft of a boat is the distance from the bottom of the boat to the waterline, and the free ball is the distance from the waterline to the top edge or side rail of the boat, which we also call it as a gunnel. This slide summarizes what I'm going to talk about in the next few minutes. Let's take a look at a simple boat we have built. The length on the waterline is 6 feet 9 inches, and the height, which is the draft plus freeboard, is 15 inches for this particular design. It's mainly made up of a red rectangular box and a blue triangular shape. The dimensions of the rectangular box are shown here. For now, we ignore the blue shape in our calculation. The volume of the red box, 6 feet 9 inches, 2 feet 6 inches and 15 inches, come up to 21 cubic feet. And the fresh water density is 62 pounds per cubic feet. The weight of the 21 cubic feet of water is 1300 pounds. By Archimedes principle, the boat can handle 1300 pounds. Assume that structurally that red box can support that much weight. If we have a draft of 6 inches, in this design the free board is 9 inches, the boat can handle 1300 pounds times 6 inches over 15 inches, which is the height of the boat, comes up to 524 pounds. The boat itself weighs 30 pounds. That means the boat can support 494 pounds payload. If we include a blue triangular shape into our calculation, the boat can handle a little bit more payload at 6 inches. So our estimation is more conservative. For other boat design, the submerged shape can be much more complicated, as you can see here in this example. The submerged portion is mainly in the form of a wedge. From the, from the plan, you can see the wedge shape changes as the draft increases. It becomes more difficult to estimate the flotation in this design. Some CAD software such as Fusion 360 has tools to help you to determine the volume of an irregular shape. Next question is, what is the right value of the free ball? Generally, you may think the larger the free ball, the safer the boat would be. This may not always be true. A high free ball, as I shown here, for a seat in kayak. In this case, it becomes a little bit more difficult to paddle compared to one with lower freeboard. Besides, the wind has a lot more effect on the boat with a high freeboard because of the surface area. Then I search internet trying to understand what is the minimum value of the freeboard. In this particular finding, it mentioned about 4 inches. In another finding, it points to at least 6 inches for this particular kayak. It has 6.5 inches free ball. For this two seater, it has 10 and a half inches. That means we can actually have more loading to this two seater boat. Assume that structurally it can handle more weight. But with this particular design, I have tried to lower to 450 pounds without any issue. Thanks for watching. If you find this video useful, please subscribe so you will be notified when I have the next upload. Thanks again.